everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom! <sighs> Leicester 3, Manchester United 1, Manchester United crashing out of the FA Cup, crashing out of the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Yet again, Manchester United getting dumped out on another cup competition. Are we ever going to win a trophy? I don't know. Under this management, I don't know. But yet, back him as we should, as we will. But still, I'm allowed to question things. Today's performance, rubbish, garbage, guys. Shit! Holy shit! Us, for us to have a Sunday like this, to think that we had a good weekday, especially with that result against AC Milan. And then to chill out on a Sunday, uh, such a beautiful weekend. A good, the sun was out this morning. It was good. I was feeling good. I was like, yes. And so it's looking like a good Sunday, you know. I've just done my church service, you know. Ah, blessed be to the Lord. And then to end it off with Manchester United getting knocked out of the FA Cup on this Sunday, on a Sabbath day. How dare you, Manchester United? How dare you? You have disappointed all of us Manchester United fans. And I'm so angry. I'm upset. Yes, we are allowed to be upset because we want trophies. And yet again, we have been disappointed. Where are we going under this regime? Where are we going? I don't know. It's like a boomerang. We throw that and it comes right back at us and hit us in our face. Because why? Because we're fools, bro. We are fools. Manchester United, man. Manchester United. Guys, Manchester United Holics, what can we say? Poor performance today, crashing out, going out. Uh, yeah, we've got the Europa League and we still are in a good position in the league. Let's go straight into the game because boy, 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 boy. Fred, Mac, Fred Pastor, Fred with Slabbed Harry Maguire. Okay, Butthead, bad passing from Butthead, leading up to Pastor Fred, who cannot pass anything at this moment. Poor for Kelechi and Inacho to capitalise on us, to score to make it 1-0. A poor start for Manchester United. And uh, guys, I have to be honest with you, that was Slabbed's fault to start off with, but with Fred, it's his fault for not being able to clear it away, especially with the danger. And Butthead, you could have passed it to tell us. Tell us was free. He was free, guys. He was so free. But boy, you and your big fat head failed to maneuver your neck straight to see onto your left to see Tellers. Oh, this captain of us. 80 million. 80 million. And we don't talk about this, but yet we talk about Labile's transfer fees and all that stuff. 80 million. 80 British pounds. Pound sterling. Pound sterling, guys. This is the 80 million defender we have. No, 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 no. Manchester United equalising in that first half with a very good play from Pogba. Leading it on with a good dummy by Van der Beek. To, leading it on to Mason Greenwood to score a goal. I'm sure that boosted off his confidence because from then, Mason Greenwood was playing very well. He, he was well. He was well involved in the game as well. He had moments of brilliance as well in that match. Half time, 1 1. Manchester United going to the second half. You hoping that we do better with the ball because in the first half, we was horrendous with that ball. Horrendous with progressing with the ball, keeping the ball. You know us, we are shit. We can't keep the ball for nothing. Not even to save our own family's life. If it depends on us, your family will be dead. Trust me, your family will be dead. If they told Manchester United, can, can you hold the ball for five minutes to save everyone's family? Just start kissing your family goodbye and be like, I, I'm, I'm gonna lie to you, babes. Family, mom, dad, you're all dead. I'll be real for real with you because I know my team. My team ain't gonna save your life passing the ball for a good five minutes. Bye, mom. Bye, dad. Bye, baby girl. That's how it's gonna be. And with Manchester United conceding a second goal from Leicester, from Tillersman. Tillersman running clear through, through the middle. Matic is out. Matic is gone. He's done out here. Matic is done out here, fam. 
Matic is done out here, guys. Let's be for real because it was so easy for Talisman to walk right through. One, two, through, going past Matic, slow poke. And Fred as well failing to close him down. Leading up to that goal. Talisman running through and clear. Making it 2-1. From there, I thought, we're done. We're done. Just Let me just go to bed right now. But yeah, we are brave. We have to go through that and watch it. It's like watching someone's head get chopped in Game of Thrones. Imagine you being those two daughters from Game of Thrones and watching your dad's get head getting chopped up and you've got no op option but to watch. Do you get me? It's just like that. You just have to continue going. Constantly in the third go again from Kelechi in your nacho. Oh, he's in hot form right now. Because he did not go. Yeah, I thought Henderson could have done something. But again, it's not his fault. Manchester United losing 3-1 to Leicester. Getting knocked out. It's been bad. A good start from the week. But anything like that, getting knocked out, it's been a poor week for us, man. Yeah, some of you would probably would have liked to go through for the FA Cup. As well, same as me, because I want us to win stuff. I'm happy that we got through in the Europa League, but today was terrible. Overall, guys, I thought that Oli, one thing that he did wrong, the substitution, guys. Oli in the substitution, what a fool to take off two creative outlets, yeah? And then bringing on players that will be defensive, such as um, McTominay coming on. I, know, I understand that Cavani was coming on. He took off Van der Beek, he took off Pogba, he took off Matic, which was rightly so. But yeah, taking off two out of those creative outlets, which is Van de Beek and Pogba, was a mistake. In fact, starting three players that just come back from injuries straight away in the starting lineup altogether was a clear mistake. And that's the problem I have with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Stupid things like that. Because that's just stupid of him and naive of him to just start three players that just come back from injury, which was Martial, Pogba and Van de Beek. There was not really. Don't just do that. And that's, that's just clearly just dumb and stuff like that just pisses me off and it hurts me it gives me migraine you know it really grinds my gears with with this guy but yeah again i'm gonna back him he's my guy in it he's my guy we're supposed to back him hmm. yeah again today poor performance poor passing everything to, well, about Manchester United stank today man I, I i can still smell them right now man <laughs> Man of the match today, guys. I'm going to have to give it to Mason Greenwood, you know, for the goal and for his overall performance. Donkey of the match has to go to Fred. Do you know what, yeah? I'm tired, you know? I don't even know why we call him Pastor Fred. Why are we calling someone Pastor Fred who fails to pass? Do you know what that means? He fails to deliver his sermons. A why? You're not entitled to it. Why did he deserve the tur out of the pastor when he can't even perform with the pass? You do not deserve the T-O-R, the tur on the E, bro. You're a fake pastor here. He does not deserve it, guys. And Fred was horrible. Shit. Leading into the mistake towards that goal, Pastor Fred cannot even pass. Cannot pass. Man. Manchester Alcoholics, it is what it is. Out of the FA Cup. Hey. Guys, keep chin up. Let's move it on. International break now. What can we do? Boom. Anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction from Ivorian Spice, guys. Ugh. It's been a disappointing one to lose and get knocked out the FA Cup. <laughs> it's not the one. Well, guys, I've got an announcement. We are going live for the Catch Up Volume 36. From now on, our weekly podcast will be streamed live. And that will be Monday at 8 o'clock. As much as we can do, we'll keep it to 8 o'clock, sometimes 7 o'clock, depending on what's going on during the day and also events such as the football matches. But yeah, guys, we are going live. So tune in, share the information, let your people know. Tune in 8 o'clock, guys. And of course, guys, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV One, baby. And also the official TikTok account, which is Red United TV. And remember to follow my own personal Instagram account, which is iPhone underscore Spice. Same for the Twitter, same for the Snapchat. And remember to subscribe, smash that like button, guys. Remember to share, because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. And remember, ladies, Remember, if you've got any guys that's trying to holler at you, remember to share to your ex-boyfriend, your current boyfriend, the pastors that's trying to move to you as well, any guy that's trying to holler at you, you know what you should do when they ask for your number? Don't give them your number. Share them the link because tell them you found a guy that does it way better than you. 
of course guys remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united peace out i'm out boom